right, welcome back everybody. Good morning. I'm just setting the space with some intentions. Put my bag over there. And I'm getting ready for today's collective reading. So I do, I see lessons being learned. You know, I'm sitting here in my robe because it's so cold in the house right now. Wow, that flame did not want to go out. So I see that there's passion being ignited. There's a way forward for us when it comes to our creativity that we can explore. Oh my goodness. I put out that flame and it came back. You just saw that, right? That flame wasn't fully, that, wow. There's a connection here. There's a connection here. That is incredible. I'm going to let this flame burn out on its own. That is incredible because I just put that out and I was wafting the air here. I had completely snuffed out that flame, wafting the um, the air of the, uh, in the innocence, <laughs> of the incense, and it lit back up on its own. I did not do that. So that tells me that there is a connection here. You may think that this connection is over, but it's not. See, it's only when you snuff that out do you get the billowing smoke of the incense. So there's a connection here that you may feel is done, but it's actually very much alive and burning, okay? So I'm going to be using two tarot decks to, um, you know, to, to pull my messages, and I'm going to be using the Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. So I apologize for the, the glare. Let's see my ember there. Okay. Let's see what the messages are here. I do like looking at the bottom of, oh, okay, bottom of the deck. Transformation. Two of Pentacles. Two of Cups. I knew relationships are here. We've got twos here. This is a 2022. This is pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to take the bottom of the deck energies for our overall. I've got Transformation here. I've got Two of Pentacles. And I've got Two of Cups. So I'm seeing here that there is... Um, clearly a connection here that's in the middle of um, transformation. It's in the process of transformation. There could have been an ending that has put a, a pause on the connection at the moment. But um, there is a bond here that is being built. And I think right now it seems like both counterparts. This is very twin flamey, by the way. So if this is a twin flame connection that you're looking into, this is definitely it. But I'm seeing that there are choices being made right now. I'm not seeing that people are juggling. I'm seeing that choices are being made. So both counterparts are being put on the path to ascension and growth. And that path is leading them to healing and making choices that they just have been putting off for a very long time. Okay, so let's see here. I'm not going to pull a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine spread here because my intention wasn't to do a Twin Flame reading, but it seems... Those are the messages coming out here. And I'm going to start pulling out my spread. Let's see. Eventually, once I figure out my setup, I'm sorry for the glare here. Eventually, once I figure out my setup, I'm going to um, have a wide enough angle. I just don't have enough space here right now so you can actually see the cards that I'm pulling. Okay. We've got Queen of Cups. We've got, what is that? Queen of Swords. Mmm. Interesting here. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. They're both faced in different directions here. So I'm seeing that it's an emotional time. It's an overly emotional time because we've got two feminine energies here. So this could be a same-sex connection for many of you. Or this could be a masculine and a feminine energy. Both dipped into their feminine energy at the moment of emotions and they've got their back to each other. So at the time there is a disconnection. It's clear in this connection, okay, as it undergoes transformation. Okay. It's got King of Wands, the Hermit, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups again, Two of Cups again. Six of Wands. Regardless, there's victory in sight. Hmm. King of Wands, Hermit, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. Six of Wands. 
six of wands. So there is a way forward here that is clear. Um, with the two, with the, I mean, with the two of cups here twice, I'm already getting a twin flame vibe. We've got twinning cards here, okay, so to speak. But what I'm seeing here is that the path to wish fulfillment, the path to movement forward and celebration is requiring a lot of internal reflection here because we've got the hermit, okay? Now, paired with the king of wands, I'm seeing that there is an elevation in sight, okay? We are not going into this um, hermit phase, this journey of solitude um, as a page or as an immature energy, even though that might be the, the case for some. We are going in there to achieve king-like status, okay? We're going in there to work on our masculine energies, I feel. So the feminine energies are already on the table, okay? Because we're tapped into our emotions right now with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups here. Um, both masculine and feminine energies are dipped into their feminine heart space right now as they sort of undergo this transformation. It's an emotional time, okay? While the feminine energy might be more inclined, <clears throat> or while one partner might be more inclined, I'm going to say partner here because when I get into feminine and masculine energies, it comes out as a twin flame connection, but I really do feel this is a collective reading for all of us, even though it might just happen to resonate with some twin flames. But um, I'm seeing here that one counterpart might be more aware of their emotions. That one is the Queen of Cups energy, but the one in the Queen of Swords is tapping into their emotions because we're human and this emotion could be anger, it could be disconnection, it could be avoidance. There's an emotion here that is being felt, perhaps a victim mentality, but it's not allowing them to get into the depth of their emotion. Okay, so the so I see that a lot of that emotional uh, wealth and health and prosperity and feeling is all being worked on in this energy of solitude. Um, and when I say we're working on our masculine energies, feminine energies are already dipped into the heart space. Masculine is about the 3D world, the things that make sense to us, the world as we know it and feel it and can touch and see, etc. And I feel like this is why this is why this connection has gone into disconnection because, or separation, as you will, because both counterparts right now are too preoccupied with what this connection is supposed to look like. Okay. There could be a lot of hurdles in sight. There could be a lot of lessons that need to be learned. There could be a lot of um, challenges and experiences that need to be overcome in order to move forward. And they might be burdened by that, okay? But by going into an energy of solitude in order to understand what's being felt here and how we can work on our 3D um, surroundings, we're understanding in that journey that it's actually our emotions that power that action forward, that Taking action with no intention, taking action with no purpose some, sometimes is futile. It's like, wh why even live that life if you're just acting for the sake of acting? I do feel somebody is quite impulsive here, a fire, a fire sign maybe in this connection for sure. But I'm seeing that we're going into this solitude to transmute and transgress past our physical limitations. And we're understanding that it's our emotional capacity and power that is fueling our intention and our action going forward. And that is going to lead to more awareness, I feel, in the parties involved here, so that they can enter a place of separation. Uh, I mean, um, celebration. Ooh, see how I said separation? Celebration here. I also feel that with the Three of Cups here, there could be third-party circumstances involved. I feel like the reason why there is this reflection and journey going within so that we can get past our physical limitations and understand our actions moving forward is because there's too much third-party involvement. This could be other romantic connections, sexual connections, whatever it may be. Um, it could also be family. It could be religion. It could be various different factors, belief systems that are actually coming in and stopping this pair from being together. Okay? But I feel that as this pair goes within to understand what they need to do moving forward to trans to you know pass and transform away from this type of energy, they're understanding that they need to really get connected with how they feel. And what's really important here is that they have to get connected about how they feel, not only for, because I've got the two of cups here twice, okay? Not only are they going within to understand how they feel about the connection because it's clearly both on their minds here, they are going within to understand how they feel about themselves and how they show up to this connection. You see that here? Look how beautiful these cards are. Sorry, my glare is there. Ooh, it's like a halo, actually. Like an angelic force protecting this couple, no matter what happens. There we go. So, <laughs> that was kind of mesmerizing. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of growth happening here. I feel like for those of you who are still kind of in this 
Two of Pentacles energy as you work through some of this transformation. It's because you're you're putting too much focus and too much power into the 3D circumstances. Listen, separation is, is just an illusion. All because you may be separated from each other physically doesn't mean the connection is dead. The connection is still there. Okay? That's a very powerful connection. Any last messages here? I mean, this connection is going to stand the test of time. Okay? I just want everybody to know that. <clears throat> Ooh, three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing that there's going to be a lot of uh, co-creation, that during this time of separation, you're really going to be given an opportunity to co-create with the universe. There'll be a lot of offer offers, opportunities, in the form of opportunities to listen to your divine guidance, to understand what is being said to you, to really dip into your own heart space and listen to your own intuition in order to co-create. Remember, when we strengthen our intuition and we tap into a place of joy, we strengthen our ability to manifest why? Because we're working with the universe. We're flowing with our circumstances, okay? That's required. And it's going to happen after a time of conflict. So this, this separation might not be easy, but I'm seeing that this conflict is mostly self-imprisonment. So it could just be the prison you've created in your mind and in your heart space that's limiting you from moving forward. But really, you just got to listen to the, the guidance around you. Both of these counterparts need to listen to the guidance around them to really move forward. This is gorgeous. Beautiful energies, okay? Okay.